Talking about travel, here's what's leaving China. Foreign companies, where are they headed? To countries like India. And India is making the idea more attractive with special offers. India is offering land to foreign investors who wish to reduce their reliance on China. Remember, land had been one of the biggest obstacles for companies looking to invest in India. It won't be the case anymore, we are told. Reports say that India is developing a land pool nearly double the size of Luxembourg. It's a small European nation. Luxembourg is spread across 2,43,000 hectares. India is offering land that can fit two Luxembourgs. Over 4,61,589 hectares of land. And this includes over 115,000 hectares of existing industrial land in the states of Gujarat, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh. Several other relevant areas have been identified across the country. Most of it is unused land available in special economic zones. These are zones with power, water and road access. Areas that will easily attract new investments for the Indian economy. They already have a robust infrastructure in place. According to reports, 10 sectors have been handpicked by the Indian government. Electrical, pharmaceutical, medical devices, electronics, heavy engineering, solar equipment, food processing, chemicals and textiles to name a few. These are sectors that will promote manufacturing in India. Requests for investments are already coming India's way. Reports say that India has received inquiries from Japan, the United States and South Korea, among a few other nations. They have expressed interest in relocating certain factories to India. And the centre is taking the state governments along in doing business. States have been quote-unquote urged to evolve their own programmes for bringing foreign investment. The Prime Minister of India already chaired, has chaired a meeting to discuss steps to fast-track strategies and woo investors. Andhra Pradesh, a state in southern India, is already in touch with companies from Japan and South Korea. Uttar Pradesh is developing an online system for land allotment. The world has begun financial distancing from China and India is turning out to be a hot spot for new investments. China's loss could be India's gain. This saying is slowly turning into a reality.